Hello everyone, Vincent Hill from HDTV Test here. Since I published my video yesterday stating that the Sony PS5 console appears to have an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth that is capped to 32 gigabits per second, some quarters have been doubting my results. I think, you know, let's try and put all of these questions to bed in this video. So one of the questions was whether I was using the HDMI 2.1 cable that was supplied with the PS5 because apparently that is not a true HDMI 2.1 cable. Now, the honest answer is that I wasn't actually even using the HDMI 2.1 cable that was supplied with the PS5, which I'm actually holding in my hand. You can see that it is still wrapped. I haven't actually unwrapped it. So the reason is because I already have an HDMI 2.1 cable. In fact, a few HDMI 2.1 cables that have been certified by the HDMI licensing administrator as passing 48 gigabits per second. Now, as a licensing body, the company is actually not allowing any manufacturer to call their cable that has been certified as HDMI 2.1 certified. The correct name is actually ultra high speed HDMI cable. So I already have a few from Zeskit here and I think you know they are probably one of the world's first if not the world's first HDMI 2.1 certified cable. So I have one 5 meter one that I was using and I scan the hologram and also the label on the packaging using the HDMI cable certification app and it passed. So I was using that. I didn't use the cable that was supplied with the Sony PS5. You know, this is my normal practice anyway. Why use a new cable if I already have an existing one that has been certified to work properly? And this is just my philosophy really you know it's just like how i always insist to use my own condom because you know i know the expiry date but what i'm going to do in this video is to just test this hdmi 2.1 cable that has been supplied by sony in the ps5 box and obviously some of you claim that because the cable itself only states that it is a high speed hdmi cable and not an ultra high speed hdmi cable that it is not 2.1 so we're going to put that claim to the test here what you are looking at is an av receiver from denon the model number is x2700h it is a 2020 model with a 40 gigabits per second hdmi 2.1 chipset and all AV receivers in 2020 from Sound United, including those from Denon and Marantz, they have a secret function on the receiver itself to test the integrity of HDMI cables up to a rated HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 40 gigabits per second because obviously the HDMI 2.1 chipset on these receivers is 40 gigabits per second. So what I'm going to do now is to plug in this Sony HDMI 2.1 cable into the back of the receiver. So how it works is that you know you plug one end into the 8K output and the other end into the 8K input and then the receiver will be sending a signal from the output to the input and then it can measure whether the signal came through correctly or not. So let's start the test, connect the cables, and let's start the cable test. And you can see that the Sony PS5 cable passes the 40 gigabits per second test, even though it doesn't have any label on it that says ultra high speed. Now, the thing is, the cable that ships with the Sony PS5 and also the Xbox Series X is only two meter long. And I think, you know, if you want longer cables, you have to buy new ones. And with the first batch of HDMI 2.1 certified cable, you know, hitting the market, I don't think there's any reason to skimp anymore and try to get one of the cheaper cables on Amazon. Just go for 
an ultra high speed one that has been certified by the HDMI mm. licensing administrator and you should be good to go because you know a cable that bears the label and the hologram will have higher quality control, higher QC. Basically they have been tested by authorized testing center and you know they should actually carry the full 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth and bearing in mind that the Sony PS5 is only currently outputting 32 gigabits per second the 40 gigabits per second on this bundled cable this is my particular one by the way so maybe some other people may have different results but let's try this again and try a few runs and see whether this bundled cable with the Sony PS5 consistently passes it the passes the 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and yeah according to the AV receiver it certainly does so and so there shouldn't be any problem with passing the 32 gigabits per second bandwidth from the Sony PS5 so I don't think you know my results from yesterday were invalid you know they are perfectly valid and another potential question about whether the Sony PS5 is capable of passing higher bandwidth if we connect to a 48 gigabits per second TV I also checked that out so I have a C9 lying around you can see here I've entered into the HDMI diagnostic menu this is the LG 55 inch C9 and if we go into the HDMI menu you can see here currently it is running at a UHD resolution at 60 Hz with 12 bit RGB because this is still in the Sony PlayStation UI but once I start the Devil May Cry game if I can click on it now and once we are in the game you can see that the resolution is still at UHD but the frame rate has gone up to 120 Hz and the chroma has dropped to YCBCR422 as per what is stipulated by the PS5 which means that the console is actually not capable of outputting the full 48 gigabits per second or even 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth because it is always going to be outputting YCBCR422 at either 8-bit or 12-bit when you send a 4K at 120 hertz signal to even the C9 which has a full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second and the last piece of information will come from this Denon receiver because I think you know when I did the test yesterday I didn't update the firmware I have since updated the firmware today and there is an additional information line in the information screen here that gives us the FRL or fixed rate link figure and you can see here that you know it is reporting an FRL of 32 gigabits per second from the Sony PS5 so I mean collating all this information together I think there is no doubt whatsoever that currently the Sony PS5 is being capped to an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 32 gigabits per second and the cable that is supplied with the console it passes 40 gigabits per second according to my test and this is my particular cable and I've run this test at least 20 or 30 times and it consistently passes every single time so some other people may have different results maybe there will be quality control problems or maybe these cables are actually not really certified but to be honest you know the one that I had you know had no problem whatsoever if I put it on this AV receiver test from the Denon X2700H it passes it consistently so I hope you found this video useful in terms of establishing that the Sony PS5 is only sending out an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 32 gigabits per second currently despite you know some questions about the authenticity of my test. My name is Vincent Teo and I am not Wong. If you'd like to watch some of our other videos on HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles, I created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video.